Hi, my name is Gregory Tucker, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Living the Dream. I'm your host and uh, chief content creator. Now, first of all, I want to give a big thank you. Thank you to all of our new subscribers. I hope that you have found this channel to be informative, beneficial, and inspirational, and helped you with self-empowerment. Now, if this is your first time coming to the channel, please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell and share. Today, we're talking about teams, and we're going to get right to it. As a child, I, like many of you, read the story of the Little Red Hen. And it's one of those stories cleverly constructed so as to teach us one of life's valuable lessons. Unlike the little boy who cried wolf, which, as we all know, and remember that if you tell any untruths, there are some consequences. Now, after years of observing teams and individual dynamics, it occurred to me that the little red hand offers a valuable analogy for teams. Now, if you are working with a team or group who do not communicate effectively with one another and who happens to lack focus on what the team's goals are, then stay here. Now, the story tells the tale of the little red hen who wants to make a loaf of bread. But to bake and eat a loaf of bread, the hen knows there's numerous actions that must happen. For example, being, one, cutting down the wheat, <laughs> grinding it, carrying it to the mill, and so on. And at every step of the way, the hen asks for help from the other barnyard animals. And at every step of the way, her request is refused. She's rebuffed. The determined, persistent little hen works on all along. Well, of course, with her little chicks. At last, their bread is baked and ready to eat. Immediately, the smell of that freshly baked bread draws the interest of all the animals in the farmyard, eager to help with the eating of the bread. Now, the little red hen stands firm, informing them that they're not entitled to eat the bread because they did not help to make it, despite a request for help. So, as leaders, what can you learn from the children's story? Well, first, the lesson that if you want the benefits and the rewards, you have to contribute. High-performing teams and groups know that their output will only be as good as their collective input. And so the support, so they support one another to maximize the output by communicating clearly with one another and asking for help when it's required. Now, secondly, a team works more effectively when they're united in one goal. If the other animals had helped the little red hen, the bread would have been ready sooner and they would have been able to bake more bread and reap greater rewards. Now, that's the same that can be said for teams united in their common goal. Productivity is higher. Results are significantly greater. And harmony is there. Now, third, had the animals all agreed to help and the atmosphere in the farmyard would have been much better. A team who's willing or unwilling or unable to help one another will never be as effective as one who does. Mistrust, suspicion, anger, frustrations are highly damaging to any team's effectiveness. 
Now, the team that holds themselves or the group that holds themselves and each other to account, who trust and respect each other, can bake bigger, tastier loaves and more of them. Now, last, good behaviors encourage good behaviors. If the first animals had asked, she had asked for help, had done so, the chances of the other animals following suit would have greatly increased. The abundance of research on group dynamics teaches us that team members are influenced by the behaviors and opinions of their other teammates. It's kind of like a high school dance. Nobody's on the floor until that first couple goes out. Now, Positive behaviors will snowball, but so will negative behaviors. It falls to the leader to hold their team to account for their actions and to lead by example. So if you're looking for a different approach for your next team meeting, consider this. Buying each member a copy of the Little Red Hen. Perhaps use your team's most important goal. And show how it parallels with the Little Red Hen story. Start by clarifying the goal. What is it? What will the goal's achievement look like? Then ask the team to define the actions required to achieve the goal. Clearly assigning accountability to each individual every step of the way. Now, order in some Freshly baked loaves from your local bakery. The taste and the smell of the bread will create a greater impact and will help to reinforce your message. Now, in closing, good luck and may your loaves be delicious and plentiful. Have a wonderful, blessed and productive.